there are some heroes in mlbb that take months or more than that to get experience with it or master it while some we can use it after trying once all have different difficulties level and i want to talk about them more in this video Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we are going to see all the hero difficulty levels and talk about them ranking them from 0% to 50%. Since there are so many heroes to cover, we are going to cover only 50% of them in this video and talk about the other 50% in part 2. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. Balmond Spin, spin and eliminate everyone with your skill too. Silvana With little to no effort, this hero is a simple pick to surprise dash heroes without complicating things too much. Nana Her skills are so simple that you will get a hold of it after playing a few matches. Mia Her first skill enables her to target multiple enemies at once and not only that, she has CC immunity and a simple skill set. Saber Tap your skill 1 and tap the ultimate, there is already one kill. Is there anything more simple than this? Tigril A very tanky hero, all his skills are easy to understand and can take a lot of damage in team fight while you just stand in the middle of it. Eudora Just stay in bushes and when enemies shows up, tap all of your skills all at once. It's simple as this. Jilong The easiest hero in MLBB as his skills are very simple and easy to understand. Layla, every new player's favorite hero and you guys know why. Alpha, once you are in team fights, no more retreating fight till you win or die. You have a high chance of winning unless you mess it up. Hanabi, Stay with your tank and never stop tapping your basic attack. Gatot Kacha If the enemies have no CC, they won't be able to kill you as the lower your HP, the higher defense you get and can heal a lot with your passive. Rafaela If you are planning to learn a support hero, go for Rafaela. You will master it in one day. Franco Hooking enemies is a bit complicated, but you can just use your ultimate and let your teammate secure kills. It's hard to escape from Franco's ultimate. Sun Just learn how to tape skill and that's good to go with Sun. It is easy as this. As his skills are easy and you can get the hold of it in one go. Estes In team fights, go nearby your teammates and heal them and after that, I am pretty sure that your team will win the fight. Changi She has a high mobility and is simple at the same time allowing her to avoid enemy gang. Will His skills don't need much aiming as he has a huge area of effect damage. Belleric Playing him is so simple that you just need to stay in front and take damage and at the same time deal a lot of damage with your passive. Badam 
His skills are straightforward to use, making him accessible to players who are new to the game. Angela The skill of this hero are quite simple, but when it comes to her ultimate, it gets complicated as keeping four of your teammates in check is not quite easy while keeping in check of yourself. Phobius He can go on a rampage if the enemies have a lot of dash effects, letting him use his ultimate as much as he wants as long as the enemies keep on dashing. Karina Just tap all your skills and if you manage to kill someone, all your skills will be back again then you can be ready to take the next fight. Ben With his passive being helpful in clearing lanes, his skill 1 ricochets which is a little complicated and his ultimate being painfully slow, it does not end well in chasing enemies. Atlas If the enemy has no CC immunity, he is a game changing hero but he requires a good understanding of positioning, timing and team coordination to be played effectively. Edith Her skills are useful but the fact that she changes into a marksman form might confuse people using her for the first time and will need a ton of practice to be effective with her. Farsa she has a good skill set to join out your opponents, but it requires mastering her ultimate timing, which can be a pain in the ass. Bakshia With a great mobility and sustained damage, this hero can be very effective or inflict damage to yourself as his first skill can be disrupted by minions. Sicilian. The mechanic on this hero is somewhat unique as the first skill is set at a fixed positioning which puts its user in a tight spot and positioning makes it a key feature while using this hero. Terizla Terizla can deal a lot of damage and has a high CC effect but he lacks mobility. Audit a hero with the biggest AoE effect in MLBB, making her effective in team fights. Florin, she is a good support hero if it's in the right hand. Her ultimate has no range and can heal anyone on the map, giving her a good advantage. Xavier. To use this hero, you not only need to have skills but also have a good sense of prediction as well along with a good map sense. Hylos. This tank is great for initiating but you will have to balance out between his HP and mana as his second skill tend to eat his HP when he runs out of mana. This hero is pretty fun to use and also to chase along with this passive. All you have to do is basically learn the basic and you will be good to go. Akai Fat chubby and round, this hero has got great CC skills and can also prove to be a great jungler. However, his ultimate mechanics is quite hard and you will find it very hard without any practice trying to pin an enemy on the wall. Alucard Basically a speed chase demon, he is dependable on jungle and farm and he gets hard countered by CC so you will have to learn when and how to engage with him. Bruno The first skill of this hero can bust out enemy easily but you will also have to keep in check of your joystick as the ball tends to predict your movement 
and with the ball going out of your hands you say bye to the burst from your first skill as well granger although this mm has great and unique skill set he mainly relies on his red bullet and skill 1 which makes it inconvenient and harder for people to use him to its full extent Mensita This hero's sole purpose is to prevent the hero from wrecking your backlines which puts pressure on you as well as his first skill is quite slow which gives the enemy with quick reflexes to dodge your skill one Barrett Barrett is a pretty fun hero but keeping in check with his takes is one thing most people struggle with as it requires one of his skills to come in contact with something in order to maintain his stakes Nathan The skill set of this hero is fun and interesting however the passive differs as you will have to maintain your passive along with the fact that this hero is one of the most squishy heroes practice is a must with this hero Thamuz the durability of this hero is great along with his passive and all his skills are not that complicated however people can go wrong on how he is meant to be played Popol and Koopa Being a marksman with four skill sets and two not only protecting and controlling one but two heroes can be confusing and also the fact that most of the damage comes from the wolf makes you need to protect your pet every time Xbog This hero's HP is uniquely made where half of his HP is shield while the other has his main source of HP and to regain the shield you will need to charge up the given meter to get battery like cells which will generate your shield He becomes vulnerable without his shield Leslie A marksman who very much relies on the front lines she needs good positioning and the aiming for her ultimate is messed up which will often lead to you ultimate at different target Hilda a great surprise birthday gift to your opponent in the bush however no matter how tanky she may be her skills can tend to be slow in the fast paced fight So you should learn how to follow up her skills and she can be pretty hard to master. Melissa. She can handle lane and zone out her opponents with ease, but she is also very squishy and can easily be busted out. While she also needs to keep in check of her skill one range. It can be a bit of headache without any practice and experience. Johead. having a second skill which speeds him up and yeets your opponent while also yeeting your teammates you may gain experience from this hero but lose trust of your teammates and his ultimate once locked cannot be cancelled so there is also a very high chance that the enemy will just pull you into their backlines valir This hero is all about precision and prediction as the skill one relies on you to be precise as it refreshes the skill if it contacts first with an enemy hero. Johnson Ultimate of this hero is what makes it really hard to master as you have to traverse through the map and there is no telling if you will be stopped midway by an opponent. Aurora This hero is all about positioning yourself well in the bush which will allow you to single handedly take down an opponent also staking up her passive is also one thing you will have to worry of when using her in the game Diggy He is great at countering many heroes especially with how his skill 2 and 3 work 
although it all relies on the timing and experience you have gained by using Digi. You will often be faced with multiple and countless dates while mastering this zero. But don't give up as it will reap good rewards. Carry the Tank Killer MM is sure worth practicing although her mechanics may be simple and easy to use to actually mastering her is the problem. Geneva. Her mechanics are also very unique as all she needs is a knock up not only from her second skill which needs precision and prediction but any knock up that has been applied on your opponent. Carmilla. Carmilla is listed here but I think she deserves more difficulty on this skill as her ultimate and passive is difficult to understand and to execute it. So if you main Carmilla, you have my respect. Ruby. Red Riding Hood Ruby is the princess of spell vamps and the mini dash. She gets after every skill she cast and also a little wobbly in the hands of new players. Uranus A very durable hero who relies on stakes applied to the target which is very hard to do you have to spam your skill 1 to stake up while trying to maintain your distance and HP. Olus His ultimate is very unique which grants him power over time as he levels it up. Although he can burst enemies out he is also a quite squishy hero himself. Amon, although the concealed state that he goes in after every skill to properly burst your opponent out, you will have to stake his ultimate up by performing a series of skills on your opponent. Lolita With control skill effects that can be casted on a full 5 man team, Lolita sure is agile and effective especially in ganks with her ultimate ability to stun multiple enemies and slow them. Paquito Paquito is fit to be in this position as his skill needs a lot of practice and comes up with different kind of combos. Fredrin Having high sustainability, he is an engager who needs to be in the front line and spam skills as his last two ultimates rely on his stakes. Moscow With his first skill being blink and skill 2 being knockback and stun, this hero needs a lot of practice as it carries the potential to carry your team to victory. Faramis. The difficulty on this hero is quite high as his skills are quite complicated with his skill 1 which has the capability to grab all 5 of your opponents. Martis. Despite having insane CC immunity skills, his attack range is pretty small and requires you to come up close with your opponent which is not very practical in in-game scenarios. Vexena. Her skill isn't that hard but what makes her hard is that she doesn't have any mobility so you need to watch out from enemies from a different direction. Argus Argus has a skill that has immunity to death but he is very weak in the early game and there are a lot of fighters that will wreck him up. Aldous this hero requires you to be ahead in his taking up out of all the heroes and getting lasted with your skill 1 is very crucial. This hero also requires you to get close up to your enemy which might not end very well for you.
Roger. The ability to transform and also change his skills sure is fun, but being a mix of fighter and marksman, you will have to get accustomed to going both ranged and melee on this hero. Ciao. He has high mobility and immune skill and all of his skill has dash skill. You will need to learn a lot of things to play at your best. Irithen. She is a good and easy hero but what makes her hard is that once she starts attacking enemies, she can't cancel. And this might even kill her if the enemies use vengeance or blade armor. Kufra. In my personal opinion, the mechanics of this hero is pretty hard, especially his skill 1 and 3 which can be a big headache. His skill 1 makes up for a great engager but if you mess things up, things can turn around pretty quickly. Luoyi The skill 1 and 2 combo on this hero is very effective in ganks but to trigger it and cause maximum casualties you will need a lot of practice on where the skill splashes and not forgetting her ultimate which can give you the upper hand in games. And before ending this video, here's a shout out from our previous video. Sakuta, Drake, Meg's Brain, David and Karcho. Thank you guys for watching, keep supporting Karcho.